All right, so here it looks like we have a cave level. When I played this level for the first time, this is when I knew that this game was not just great, that this was a special game, and it really is, it's a special game. And I know I sound like a, a broken record, but however good it may look on your screen right now, does it absolutely no justice. There are no words I can say to make you understand how it is to experience this inside of a VR headset. It's literally like being inside the game. Now just look at that bloom. It's just so cool. The glowing mushrooms. The lighting is superb. And the uh, the echo too with the 3D audio echoing through the cave. Wonderful. Right, so I hear a little dude around me somewhere here, so I'm going to just stand up. Since I don't have a swiveling chair, I'm going to stand up and turn around. Oh, look there. There's a weak point in the wall. And by the way, the water in this game, beautiful. I mean, that waterfall, not the most realistic looking thing, but the pools, the reflection on the, the surface of the water is spot on. Music's catchy, if you haven't noticed already. I swear when this game first came out, these songs from these levels would just stay in my head all day at work. And oddly enough, unlike when you normally get a song stuck in your head, I didn't really get sick of it, I didn't mind. I just walked around work all day with a smile on my face, nodding my head. All right, so the sign up there is showing us that we, uh, we're learning a new move, an attack. So you hold the uh, square button down. You see the square button there. You hold that square button down to charge up, and then when you release it, you do a spin attack. So let's charge up. We're going to jump in the middle of all these guys and let loose. to forgive me for being a bit thorough especially in these dimly lit areas that chameleon can be hard to find sometimes little guys aren't that difficult because you can hear them but not the chameleon so we got a little guy up there whoa cannonballs to dodge Get in, dude. Get all that loot, and let's move on. All right, so it says, all right, so the game's basically warning me that I can't touch those electrified enemies that lie ahead there. If we touch those, uh, it'll kill us and we'll have to go back to the checkpoint. But, we can float over them and blast them with our jets. And so, there we go. Gotta get me a swivel chair. Just saying.
Let's move on. All right, here, check this out. See the little robot dude pretending to be a mushroom there? How cute is that? You know, I watch a lot of YouTube, and it's almost every day I see some ridiculous challenge on there, try not to laugh, try not to cry challenge. Well, I have one. It's the try not to smile challenge. And the challenge is this. Get a PlayStation VR headset and play this game. And if you can make it through four levels without having a smile on your face, well, then you probably need professional help. Because that would mean one of two things is true. Either A, you're clinically depressed, or B, you're just a bad person. Either way, you should find help. to watch for these cannonballs they can be tricky sometimes Whoa. elevation change made that a little tricky oh look got the chameleon check out the uh, cannonballs flying up into the night sky beautiful VR makes the most trivial things special and that is special oh see the cannonball broke my headset lucky for me it heals itself move carefully here because there's a lot of dudes and visibility is limited All right, so I see another weak spot in the wall up there oh I lean too far in there's a little guy over there if you can see So we've got four. Let's see if we've missed any. Ah, uh, we did. We missed number four. Well, that's not good. Well, I hear one right close here. Maybe. Maybe that's number four over there. Let's, uh, let's find out. Check out the little Astrobot skeletons that are hanging everywhere. Just for decoration. All right, so now we have five. The question is, was that number four or number six? That was number four, great. Means I don't have to backtrack. Backtracking is very difficult in this game because again, you can't control the camera. So I would literally have to stand up and turn around and walk back through the, the level. Oh, I fell. That's all right, we got all the coins. We got the little dude. So we just have to run through it now. After you get the little robot guys and get the chameleon, you keep them even if you even if you die. So the only thing that respawns is the coins, which is a good thing because you get to keep the ones that you've already got. So if you ever uh, need to get more coins, just find a spot in a in a level that has a lot and just die over and over again. You can keep collecting them. And 
yeah like I said the coins uh, allow you to do something really cool so I am going to go through the trouble of collecting all of them that I see as long as it doesn't mean that I continually fall off of this thing and die All right, success. Go. Go to ledge. I hear a little dude somewhere around here. There he is. All right, so we've got a coin trail out from him there. It looks like it's to climb up through here. Yep. So we're gonna just got it. Oh, and there's a secret area down there too. Go, go, go. I tell you those electrical electrified enemies looks so cool I mean they're so bright to begin with but when you kill them they have this colorful confetti that goes everywhere which makes it even cooler Like we have another one of these little guys that spit stuff, but this time they're attacking the little guy instead of, instead of me. Okay, it's like a timing deal here. Go! Ah, too late. See if we can time this a little better now. Go. All right, cool. How many dudes do we have left to find? We've got two more. I hear one close. Ah, look at that. is a sight to behold. Look at that. Gigantic glowing mushrooms. Incredible. Right, there's the last guy. Bing. Are these uh, yellow trampolines are, are especially cool check this out Bing. they put you exactly where you need to go you don't have to guide the, the uh, robot at all he just goes where he needs to be and sometimes they'll put those yellow trampolines in series where you'll bounce off two or three of them in a row to get to where you need to be
Whoa. Massive. Party time, dude. So this one's way up there. Draw back. Get a aim. And eh, a fair shot. Sixteen to twenty-four. Boom. Which unlocks the next part. And one four. Looks like we have a uh, desert level. Sweet. Bing. Haha, <laughs> cool. Again, I have to stand up to work behind myself. No problema. Bing. All right. Let's get comfy here again and see what this level has in store. Oh, hey, look there. Glad we got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. oh, time to walk a tightrope, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Now just take in this scenery here. It looks like it's a desert in the clouds. Vultures in the air. Cows in the pasture. <laughs> robot cows. It's a good thing they're robot cows because there's not much grass here for them to eat. Don't worry little dude, I'm coming. Check out the cactus. It was a really good idea with the uh, jets that they give you so that you can see where you're going to land. Makes it much easier to navigate. Cute little toy cactus. Looks like a toy cactus. Okay, let's see. There it is. And back. Alright. Got it. Let's drop down here. Check out the little cactus guy. Oh, he looks frightened. Don't be frightened. I'm here to save you. There you go, buddy. 
I have saved the day. Boy, those slime guys, they can be real jerks, you know? It's a sleeping treasure chest. Wake up, lazy. I want what's inside of you. Oh, it's a grappling hook. Sweet. All right, so the way this works is you hold your controller in the direction that you want to fire and you take your finger across the track pad to fire. Grab onto a loop and pull. Cool, right? Well, it is cool, just take my word for it. It's awesome. Another one, got it, and then we're gonna just tight rope walk. So the uh, screen here is showing us how to do a little trick. We can just get the guy under the coin and just toss him up there, like so. Thought I heard a little dude around here somewhere. Maybe it's ahead. I haven't missed one yet, but there's still quite a few to find. Where's that guy at? Ah, oh, there you are. I knew it. I heard it. And I just looked where the voice was coming from, and sure enough, this little guy was there. Time. Now let's charge up. Then we're going to trigger this guy and then take him to slap down. Go check out the uh, crashed UFO over there. Alright, so we want to grab that and pull. Sweet. I hear another little guy around here somewhere. Ah, see him down there? I almost missed him. Alright, so I have to literally turn around and backtrack now. But it doesn't let me go back with the little Astrobot, so I kind of have to try to navigate it from here all right so gotcha Bing. all right okay Back to it. Oh, Oopsies.
cool. <laughs> Well, what do I have to do? Spin it around? Yeah. Alright, let's take two. Crap. Almost did exactly the same thing. Why is it letting go? that coin. I'm gonna have nightmares about missing that coin now. So I'm just weird like that. You fools. I mean, what jerks, you know? Catch a guy when he's indisposed like that and try to take advantage. Very unsportsmanlike. there. Well, I thought I heard another guy over here somewhere. Well, I think I see him there inside that little skull. Again, the audio is just as important as the video when it comes to finding these dudes, if not even more so. You can't always see them, but you nearly always can hear them. Incredible. All right, platform four. Bing. <laughs> I didn't mean to let go. My fingers slid off the trackpad. Oh well. There we go. Thirty two. Chameleon number four. Over a thousand coins to use now. And Hookshot Highway is unlocked. And now we can unlock the boss fight, which will unlock the next world. See, I would have had. The, uh, the lock there shows me that I would have at least had to find 20 of the little dudes. Well, I think we've got it covered with our 32. Alright, boss fight time. Remember the uh, 
giant gorilla from the very first level that ripped that sign down. Well, we didn't see him, we saw his arms. But uh, I see a, a monkey sign over there, so I have a feeling that we're getting ready to meet back up with our friend. fruit <laughs> again try not to smile if you can manage it you're probably a jerk want what's in you bro It. Thanks, Mr. Sign. Or maybe I don't. I'm supposed to pull the bridge down. <laughs> maybe I don't know what to do with it. Take two. This guy's probably like, why don't they just leave me alone? Take it, man, and keep it. There we go. It looked like the Imperial Guard there. They had armor. Oh, check out the security cam. Here's my little dude.